Anybody that's been downrange will tell you that normally you go to contact. You mentally prepare yourself, you leave the wire, and you go on a mission. Well, we were on what would be considered a relatively safe location on a FOB. I mean, you, you're kind of de-kitted, relaxed. So it's hard to turn your brain from, I'm just on a FOB to, we're now in a, in a gunfight. Uh, we heard a loud explosion. Uh, initially, we thought that the, uh, the building we were in had been um, hit directly by uh, um, indirect fires. Uh, enemy insurgents detonated a, what was later determined to be a 20,000 pound vehicle borne IED at the perimeter, creating a 60 foot wide hole in our fence. Also around that time we started hearing um, a large amount of small arms pick up from, from different sides of the camp. And at that point uh, I ran and um, put my equipment on and grabbed my rifle. Within less than 30 seconds of the V-bid being detonated, Earl jumped into a vehicle with two other individuals and raced to the scene uh, essentially to provide any kind of aid, security, first aid. They had placed the vehicle between two other special operators as cover. So Earl, being in the back seat, jumped out of the vehicle, exited it. His rifle got caught on the door. The individual still attempting to engage them. You know, I, you know, I figured that they probably had us. Um, so the only thing I could think to do was um, uh, pull my pistol and, and close the distance. and. Uh, um, maybe get a few of them and, and give uh, Nate and Drew time to uh, figure something else out. Uh, I don't know how I didn't get hit. <coughs> uh, rounds um, came through the, the door and window and hit um, uh, Nate and hit uh, Drew Busick. Uh, I, I just got lucky, I guess. Our troops started taking rocket fire, recoilless rifle fire, and small arms fire while the driver of their truck maneuvered into the line of enemy fire to shield injured members of their team outside the vehicle, the staff sergeant exited the vehicle and used his own body to shield the driver. He left whatever cover the truck provided him and began to engage the invaders. Outnumbered with no regard for his own safety, at times armed with only a pistol, Staff Sergeant Plumley attacked the insurgent forces, taking them on one by one. And time and again, bullets flew by, sometimes only inches away. And time and again, Staff Sergeant Plumley closed with the enemy. And multiple occasions during the fight, the insurgents detonated their vest right in front of Plumley. At one point, hurling him into a wall and injuring his back. Uh, at some point, he saw a wounded American soldier, Staff Sergeant Hollis, and he went over, put two tourniquets on him, took him over and, and got him exfilled. Well, I knew that if we, uh, if we didn't uh, uh, eliminate them as rapidly as possible, it was just going to, it was going to be a mess if they started running all the way through the camp. Um, and, and, uh, and what we understand about their plan, it would have, it would have been a, uh, a nightmare scenario. At a critical moment when they were engaging the insurgents, one of them ran into an empty bunker near the airfield and he detonated his vest which clearly demonstrated what their intent was. So Earl and the other brave special operators that day um, were able to not only stop them short of that catastrophic turn, but also neutralize that threat. And uh, I think that all of those guys deserve uh, definitely accolades, but uh, above all, Earl has epitomized that which we all strive to be. Staff Sergeant Earl D. Plumley's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, the Special Forces Regiment, and the United States Army. Signed, Joseph R. Biden, the President of the United States. You know, having a, a fairly significant amount of hero worship for the recipients before me to, to, um, to kind of join their ranks is, is overwhelming and completely humbling. To me, I'll, I'll be um, kind of honoring um, every member of, of the Special Forces Regiment. Um, I think it's an uncommon award for, for uh, Green Braves to uh, 
be able to earn be, uh, just by the, the, the nature of, the, of who we work with and where we work. Um, if you do something heroic with the uh, Afghan local police, uh, nobody ever hears about it. Uh, and I know, you know countless stories um, from, from all my peers and uh, to, to be able to have that medal um, for all those guys, I think, is, uh, is what it uh, makes me most proud.